And the masters of the universe. Today we learned about the importance of taking the responsibility to care about our fellow man. If you have a friend who needs help, who's having a difficult time, do whatever you can to help them out. Because as you saw in today's episode, no matter how big the problem, one person or one living creature can make a big difference. See you next time. I sure enjoy jogging along this meadow. So do I. It's too bad every place in Eternia can't stay as natural and untouched as this place is. You're right. But progress does force changes. And sometimes those changes mean we have to take down trees in order to put up buildings. That's why it's important to set aside some places to remain natural, where children can play and where we can all enjoy the wonders of nature. Hi, in today's story, we had a tough job to do. The only way we could do it was to get some help and work together. Now, there are always jobs or problems that are too tough to handle alone. And when that happens, you should never be ashamed to admit you need help. Likewise, when someone asks for help, give them a hand. Yours may not be as big as mine, but it'll still be appreciated. And if I could ever give you a hand, just let me know. Well, how are things going at the weather station, Philip? Well, it's lots of work and plenty of responsibility. But you know, part of growing up is learning how to be a responsible person. That's for sure. Whether a job is big or small, it's nice when you know that you're the kind of person people can depend upon to get the job done. That's right, Taylor. Being responsible means you can be depended upon. And that's a big step toward becoming a winner. In our tale today, Snoob learned a very important lesson. He found out that when young people and older people work together, they can accomplish a great deal. You see, older people have experience that can help young people if they're willing to listen, and that's why you should always respect older people and pay attention to the advice they give you. Well, Orko, for once you're right. Aren't I always? Until later. Today, Stratos of Avion learned the true value of forgiveness. When someone does something we don't like, it can be hard to forgive. It's at times like these that we must remember everyone deserves a second chance. We all make mistakes, and when we do, it's nice to have a friend who will understand and give us another chance. Right, my friend? Right! <laughs> See you next time. In today's story, we met some people who had a strange idea of fun. To amuse themselves, the Dharmi wanted to make the dragons fight each other. Fortunately, they didn't succeed. There are no dragons in your world, but there are animals, and hurting or teasing an animal is no way to have fun. Treat your animals with kindness. You'll find that's a lot more fun for you and for the animal. Until later. Today you saw what happened when Raman and I got into an argument. It almost ruined our friendship. Yeah, I'm sure happy we're pals again. When people lose their temper, they often say things they later regret. So if you get angry, be careful you don't say something you really don't mean. Something you'll be sorry about later. I'm glad we made up, because now we're better friends than ever. Right, Manny? Right, Remy. Today we saw a terrible conflict between two opposing forces, and in the end, the battle was not won by some powerful weapon, it was won by a single act of compassion. Compassion means caring for others, wanting to help them. Fighting is often not the way to settle a problem. It may prove who is stronger, but it doesn't prove who is right. And remember, sometimes it takes more courage not to fight. See you soon. In our story today, we can all learn a valuable lesson. Subternius and his underground people hated all those who lived above ground because of the actions of a few. Well, that's like throwing away a barrel of good apples just because one happens to be bad. Right. Every day we meet all kinds of people. Most will be nice. Some may be bad. But it's unfair to judge an entire group by the actions of just a few. Right. Till later. So long. 
Tila learned two extremely important lessons today. She learned it's just as important to play as it is to study and work. But it's also important to take the time to learn the rules for playing safely. Right, Duncan. Tila wandered too far away. And when she ran into trouble, there was no one around to help her or to go for help. So when you play away from family or friends, make sure someone knows where you are at all times. Courage and fear are two important instincts. And we should pay attention to both. Sometimes being afraid is just as important as being brave. I guess I was a double fraidy cat. How's that, Cringer? Because I was afraid of being afraid. I see. Well, how do you feel now? Oh, much better. Now I'm just afraid of being brave. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't win. See you all next time. Your Majesty, I want to thank you for coming to our rescue and for teaching me more about flying. You're most welcome, Tila. You'd be surprised at what we old-timers know. And we still remember what it's like to be young and think you've learned everything. Well, not everything. And speaking of learning, I was wondering if you would teach me to fly the rainbow. I'd be glad to, but only if you teach me to fly the sky sled. You've got a deal. In today's adventure story, Prince Esker made an important discovery. He found out that a good idea could come from many places, <laughs> even from his sister. Know something? When you don't listen, you just might be cheating yourself out of a good idea. Besides, where does it say that big ideas have to come from big people? Give others a chance to share their ideas with you. I promise you'll be glad you did. Is there something that frightens you? Are you afraid of water or high places? I used to be afraid of the dark when I was little. Some fears are good if they make you more careful. Fear of fire may save you from a burn. Fear of getting hurt may make you think twice before trying something. So fear is nothing to be concerned about. As a matter of fact, it's healthy. So don't worry, only a fool fears nothing. Now I'm afraid it's time to go. Bye for now. Taking a dare doesn't prove you're brave or smart. It could prove you're pretty foolish because most of the time it will get you or someone else in trouble. The smartest thing to do is not to take a dare and not to worry about what people will think. If you only do what you think is right, you'll come out the winner. Don't learn the hard way, like the children in today's story. Until next time, so long. Am I glad today's adventure is over? Why is that, Orko? Because I was having a hard time keeping track of my lies. Each one led to another and another and another. It was exhausting. Well, that sounds like a pretty valuable lesson. Oh, yes, it is. I learned it. Lying is not only very dangerous to other people, but painful for me as well. I'll always tell the truth from now on. Are you sure? Positively. Well, we'll all see you soon again. And that's no lie. Today's story was about cooperation, working together to get a job done. Have you ever tried to lift something heavy? With help from a friend or two, the job becomes easier. If we offer to help someone with his or her job, that person might be willing to help us when we have a tough job to do. That's how people cooperate, by helping each other to get things done. Why, a job that's dull and boring can be fun with a friend's help. Give it a try. Until next time, bye-bye. Because the widgets helped Jacob, he chose to stand beside them when they were in danger. Afterwards, he planned to leave them because he was so used to living alone. Only after he discovered that he was really needed by the widgets did Jacob agree to stay and be their mayor. It's important to let those around us know that we love and need them. Have you hugged your parents today? In today's story, He-Man said what is important is what you're like inside. It's not really important whether you're big or small or tall or short or fat or skinny. In other words, what's important is being the best person you can be. You know something? I bet there are a lot of people out there right now who'd like to be just like you. <laughs> Good for you, Squint. You said it. We all have the urge once in a while to play a joke on someone. But as Prankster learned today, jokes have a way of getting out of hand. 
when that happens, it can backfire. And then the joke isn't funny. It might be dangerous, and it might hurt someone. Maybe you. So next time you think about pulling a joke on someone, no matter how safe you think it is, think twice about it. Then, don't do it. <laughs> Bye for now. Today we learned something about the importance of listening to other people. Orko. J -j Just a sec. Bokan's big mistake was listening to Evil Lynn without asking He-Man for his side of the story. Orko. Before we blame somebody for doing something, we should always find him and ask for his side of the story. That's important because sometimes we're wrong about who's to blame. Orko. Remember, listen to what other people have to say. What is it, man at arms? Dinner's ready. Oh! In today's adventure, we saw what happens when we make up our minds about something before we have the facts. It's called jumping to conclusions. And anyone who does that will usually find that the conclusion is wrong. That's what happened to Malakpa. If he had only... Well, hello, Holly. Is there something you want to say? Yes. Uh -oh. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions. That's good advice. And if anyone asks, just say a little bird told you. See you all soon. In today's adventure, Orko was warned not to play with certain bottles. Well, Orko didn't listen, and he nearly caused a lot of trouble. There may be containers like this one in your home. This symbol is a warning of poison. Say, that looks like Skeletor. And just like Skeletor, it's bad news. It can make you very sick. So if you see this picture on a bottle or box, it means I'm dangerous, don't touch me. Be a safe person, not a sorry one. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure story. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we did have a real time wheel? We could turn it back to the Stone Age and meet some real cave people. Or into the future where we could see some of the wondrous things yet to come. Well, we don't have a magic time wheel. Not yet, anyway. But we do have some things just about as good. They're called books. Reading books can be your time wheel to just about any time or place you choose. Why don't you give them a try? You'll be glad you did. Well, you know what I like best in today's story? Well, there were three things. The first was when the evil enchantress found out you can't do bad things without being punished for them. The second thing was when King Randor found his father. But what I liked best of all was Adam and his grandfather getting together. You know, grandfathers and grandmothers are very special people, and they give their grandchildren a very special kind of love. So if you're lucky enough to have a grandmother or a grandfather, or maybe even both, well, you're really specially lucky.